Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn, and in this video, we're going to play On Air Airline Manager. I'm going to show you how to start up a company, how to get your first job, and how to set it up in the flight simulator. Let's get started right now. So they've actually added an extra server here. They used to only have three. They used to have the Cumulus, Stratus, and Thunder, but now they have uh, Clear Sky. Clear Sky is the default world where you'll start uh, creating your first company. You can have up to one company per server. So a total of uh, four companies, but only one per server. So in this uh, clear sky, uh, you'll be able to do a tutorial. And once you finish that tutorial, you'll be uh, given a, an aircraft for free. And that's where this will be sent to the clear sky. You've also got uh, Cumulus. It's a very easy world. It's the ideal place to fly when you cannot play more than a few hours per week. Uh, Stratus is uh, is the world where you can only play with survival options on, and you need a clear strategy to be profitable in the long term. The flights can be made by humans or AI pilots. And then Thunder is where the real game is. The only world you can create a virtual airline to share assets and jobs with your friends. Uh, the rules in this uh, world are the same as the Stratus world, except that only human players can fly. AI pilots, crew members, and mechanics will work as usual. However, they will not be able to, to pilot the plane. So you cannot uh, give the AI a job to, to fly from Montreal to Toronto. It's not going to cut it. You're going to have to fly it or you're gonna have to assign that to another human to do for you. So in this video, we're gonna start a company in the Stratus uh, server with the survival options on. And let's get started here. So we'll click enter. And then you can also see here, there's a, a whole CEO operations manual for documentation. And you can also join their Discord as a communication tool, get uh, some tips and uh, share ideas with others so as you can see i'm in the stratus server i already have a company set up sizzling popcorn airlines but it's been about three weeks and i know the company's bankrupt so we got to change that what i gotta do in order to close down this airline and restart it i have to go in into the world go load up my sizzling popcorn airlines go to options global settings and then right here, click on restart my company and create a new one. So now I'm gonna come back out here, Stratus, and now I can uh, start my, my own company. Company name is gonna be Sizzling Popcorn Airlines. And then the airline code, uh, four characters will be uh, S-I-Z-Z, Pilot Pseudo, it's going to be a sizzling popcorn. And then pilot birthday. In our case, we're going to go with uh, December 19th, 2017. That was when the channel first began. Flight experience. Not going to put anything there. And then you can choose your avatar. There's plenty of avatars here to, to choose from. I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to stick with this guy. Yeah, we'll stick with him. Initial location. So this, you do not have to choose your home airport. You can choose any airport. You want to start at JFK? Sure, go ahead. You can start at uh, KJFK. If you want to start in Toronto, see YYZ. Want to start in Halifax? Like I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it with my uh, home airport. C Y A C Y H Z Halifax. So there. This is a size five airport. There's five different sizes, and you can choose if you want to play. So here. I don't use any similar. I want to play with AI pilots only. So that means like if you don't have a P3D, X-Plane, Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can still play this without a simulator. You would just have to 
click on that, you'd only play with AI pilots. What I'm gonna do here is a realistic level. Actually, I've got the survival mode is on. So it's gonna be realistic and there's no uh, pay bonus for jobs. And then now I can go click on to start the world. It's gonna load in. And on this server, you're gonna start with $10,000 of cash. And that's the money that you, you put into the company, your owner's equity. And then you've got, you got several different pages here, but you got your dashboard where you can pretty much see uh, a high level view of your, um, of your company. Over here, you can have partners, so you can invite friends to become partners with. And then you'll also have your notification log will happen right here says one employee but I'm the employee so that it's just counting that there's there's one pilot well one staff I would say because uh, you can have two employees one pilot and a flight attendant or a mechanic your live operations map so this shows you where everyone is all your staff all your planes are and then this is where you're going to uh, you're going to set up your next jobs, get those started. You get your flight logs, your employees, so pilots, co-pilots, flight attendants, mechanics, your aircraft, and then here you can uh, buy or rent one at the uh, global market. Your FBOs. You can buy one at any airport. Just got to have money for it. Skill tree. So this skill tree, as you progress and you gain experience points, you'll get with those experience points, you'll get skill points. And then those skill points can be used. So uh, in this case, if I click on here, I'm going to then be able to get uh, bank loans. If I don't have this, I cannot get a, a bank loan whatsoever. So at the beginning, you're only going to be able to fly cargo unless you get your passenger's license. So right now I got one point to distribute. I can choose to use a passenger license. And then my first job, I could go get, uh, and fly uh, passengers and not just cargo. Then you've got in your business section, you got your pending jobs, your favorite jobs, completed jobs in your mailbox. And then your accounting, all your financial statements, charts, you got your cash flow history, banking. You, this is where you can go, go taking a look for loans, but you need that, that skill in order to do so. In the world, you can find jobs, hire employees, search, uh, generate aircraft, uh, you can find out which aircrafts are available at your current airport. That makes it easy so you don't have to go fly into another destination in order to pick up a plane and bring it back. A uh, database, they'll have all the airports, your, uh, all the FBOs and the aircraft usage tree. How many people are using the different types of planes? within that server. Then you've got social, you got your partnerships. You've got a multiplayer map. So you can see everybody else that's that's flying right now. Whether it's uh, actually, it should all be humans that you'll see. You won't see the AI uh, flights on here then you got a chat that you can join for your server company details so you can uh, take a look you can uh, take a look for an airline code and then uh, take a look at the company details last flight we don't have any so it's going to be empty but actually this is last flights in this world okay so all the different companies and all their the latest flights. 
and then last part here is leaderboards leaderboards are updated each week so you can see how the reputation return on assets outsource expenses that's all there so now what we're going to do is we're going to go take a look and get our first job and we'll set that up both in here and in the sim so we're going to go to the live operations map and you can see i'm here at cyhz your company has no aircraft available okay buyer rent I'm gonna have to rent um let's see search for an aircraft if you click on this it's the one that you currently have loaded in but you really want to go to the list and you're going to start off with a uh, single engine piston land uh, class or class rating. So you're going to have to choose that. In order to get the other ones, you're going to have to do a check ride in order to get the uh, the license to, to fly those planes. And the check ride will do that in a, in a different uh, video. What you want to do here is you want to make sure that you only have your your Microsoft Flight Simulator planes. So you're going to click on the sim. Actually, you're going to click on the uh, the little filter just beside it. Whichever sim you want to use. If you want to use X-Plane, sure, go use X-Plane. You click on X-Plane 11 if you want FSX. But here is where deal. This channel is all about Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to take a look at that specifically. So click on the MSFS and then filter. And then it's going to take a moment here to filter out. Okay, yeah, it's filtered out. And now I'll, I'll uh, filter or sort it by the max price i want the the cheapest one because thing is is you only got ten thousand dollars and you're not going to be able to uh to rent out a uh, bonanza bonanza costs two hundred twelve thousand dollars and then a rental is going to be yes rental is going to be less but it's going to cost more than ten thousand dollars in order to, to rent it what I would put in here is I'd probably end up going to the where's the 170 I could do I've got a Carinado CT 182 T Skyline which is not in the base or in the premium deluxe version of the similar this is an add-on so add-on planes will be added to the database so i can choose this then i can say okay i want to find this aircraft and i want to find it within i'm going to put uh, within 50 50 nautical miles from uh, cyhz uh the lowest is 100 nautical miles because I don't want to be having to fly across the country just in order to get my plane. But let's see. Where can we find this? So you, we've got, we got a few, we got several here for, for rent. And here you're going to see the condition of the plane and in the condition of the engine. You want something that, uh, Especially if you're looking to rent this for a couple of weeks, you're going to want to, to have something that's that's decent. Not something that's uh, the condition where here the condition's at 63%, decreases with time and flights, increases during checkups, annual and one hour, 100 hour uh, checkups, and the condition affects the probability of failure of the aircraft components and increases the price of maintenance. So that's why you want to have something that's green in both cases. But as you can see here, 
This plane is probably it's the it's worth like this. It's selling for the second highest price, but it's not for rent. So you gotta look for something for rent. Here you can rent this for two hundred forty dollars, and that's actually cheaper than this one right here because this one is two hundred fifty. But if we click on the details. Here on the details, we can uh, rent this from uh, Air Express VA. So the airframe condition is at 99%. Engine is at 209 hours. Well, that's that's fine. Airframe time, 554 hours. And I think is, uh, the airframe is considered high time after 10,000 hours. Well, uh, we're fine there. Fuel on board, there's 31, 31 gallons. So annual checkup price, $2,000. Weekly ownership costs, $20. We don't have to pay these two because we're renting. A hundred hour uh, checkup costs, we don't have to pay either at this time. Engine price, no. What, and then if we then take a look down here, so you can, you can buy it or you can rent so we're gonna rent at 240 dollars and that's per flight hour so the thing is is if if the plane is just sitting there you're fine but if uh if you're flying it every hour you fly it you're paying 240 dollars and that's a uh, dry rent so that means that you have to pay for your fuel beyond the 240 dollars and then a renting bond of 10 times the amount of the rent. And then that's held until you return the plane back to the uh, to where it originated from. So we're gonna rent this. So right off the bat, we're going, it's gonna take out uh, $2,400. Uh, I didn't look to see where this was located. This is located at CYYG. CYYG, I think, is Charlottetown. Let's go back one here. Yeah, Charlottetown. So we're gonna have to go to Charlottetown to pick it up, and then we can bring it back to Halifax, or we can leave from Charlottetown and get a job from there. But because this is our first airplane, we'll be able to teleport over to Charlottetown we won't need to somehow rent a plane in order to go to get the plane that we're renting. So that's good. We'll click on details, click on rent. So the rent aircraft for $240 per hour, per flight hour, with a daily minimum of one hour of flight. So every day it's going to cost at least $240. At the end of the lease, the aircraft has to be returned to the current airport with at least the same level, the same fuel level. Bond to pay immediately, $2,400. You'll get it back at the end of the rent. So we're going to do that. Click OK. This is your first aircraft, so you can teleport for free at its location. Do you accept? Yes. So we've teleported over to Charlottetown. Now we've got our uh, Carinado CT-182T Skyline. So that is a, if you don't know, it's a Cessna 182, which is slightly more powerful, a little bit more room than the uh, Cessna 172, and definitely more room than the Cessna 152. So now that we've got our plane here, we can prepare the, for the next flight, but we don't have a job yet. We're going to have to go get that job. If we take a look at the pending jobs, what you're going to get is the game is going to give you some missions to, to take. And once you've completed those missions, it's going to give you some, uh, some uh, experience points. And it's also even going to give you a pay for, for that job. It, it will help you out uh, to start off with and to become uh, profitable early on. 
in your business's uh, lifetime. Let's take a look at what they've got here. So this is, yeah, so from Halifax, taking 175 pounds of equipment pallets over to Summerside PEI. And Summerside's a size three airport. Uh, I'm not gonna accept that right now because we are in Charlottetown. I don't wanna fly back to, to Halifax empty. So we're gonna try to find a job from Charlottetown to go elsewhere. We don't want this one, so we're gonna go looking for a job. So we can go world and then find a job. So from CYYG, I want the trip to be a small trip. 50 to 250 nautical miles. And when you're looking for a job, you want to make sure that you know the uh, specifications for your plane. Because if, if you don't know them and you get a job, well, you might end up having to do the run like two, three times just to fulfill the, the job. But you, you don't want to do that because it ends up that it costs you a lot of more money and, uh, and time. So here's a job to take frozen food crates from Charlottetown into uh, Moncton. It's really not that far. But let's see here. And there's there's a long list of jobs. There's jobs that you that will show up, but you can't take, and that's because you don't have uh, a license to do that, such as like uh, emergency or or perishable goods. It could be uh, bring in uh, like a medical mission that you need a special license for, so, or even dangerous materials I really think this one this one should be good at least one job has a time constraint and your jobs could could have multiple uh, sections so actually this job here that they show I actually can't take it so you also want to to filter that out it's tough to filter. You can't really filter it out completely, but you're gonna have to play with the different filters up here to get to that. Cause like here, I, I don't want any passengers whatsoever. So I gotta look at jobs from here on up. So this job looks nice. It looks nice and lucrative. However, 3,969 pounds and I think my uh, my Cessna 182 probably do about a thousand pounds then that might be too much let's take a look at the the aircraft so yeah my payload maximum of 964 and I can do up to 11,054 is my uh, my range that I can go. So 964, if I could find something that would go to Halifax, would actually be better because then I can set myself up. But then on my next job, go from Halifax up to Summerside. So let's see what we can do. Well, what can we find here? So what I've done here is I've gone to a very short trip from Charlottetown to Summerside is what I found here. But yeah, it pays $790. What about we find a bigger one here? So this job would pay $2,210 from Charlottetown and Summerside going into, uh, this would be going into Trent. I think doing that job, we can go from Charlottetown into Summerside 
and then bring all the goods into Trenton all at once. So let's uh, let's take this job. Now that we've taken it, it's going to show up in our pending jobs. And you can see here, you can always abandon it, but if you abandon the job, you're going to have a penalty. In this case, it would be $40. And this job expires October 16th. So this is a persistent world. And so time is real time. Just like in a sim, you don't... Uh, you, because I've got this on survival mode, like there's no slewing, there's no changing the time back. You've got to fly it when, like, in real real time. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go Charlottetown into Summerside, and then we're gonna uh, fly into Trenton. So now what we can do is go to my company live operations map. Here we could uh, prepare for the next flight. The other options here is find a jobs at the current airport and aircraft details. So let's prepare the flight. So the thing is, is the gas price, like the fuel price is going to be different from airport to airport. And so you're gonna have to know your prices and and know like where where is it gonna be more expensive than you know because I might be better off to fuel sort of max here and not fuel up in Summerside, or it might be better to just get enough to get to Summerside and then do the rest of the fueling in Summerside, depending on the uh, price of gas. But here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up to uh, 50% for all tanks. And then you'll see down here the fuel price. I'm going to pay $57.18 for uh, 100 LL fuel. And there's only one FBO there, so it's not like we can choose a different FBO. Then it shows you all your payloads that are available at that airport. So right now we've only got one job that comes out of this airport. But if we had many jobs, you would have to be careful on which cargo you're loading, which payload you're loading. But in this case, there's only one. So we can put that onto the plane. Seats reserved for employees, not including the active crew. Let's say I had another staff and I wanted to bring them to Summerside. I can always add them on, add one seat for them, and then uh, select them later on. But we're not doing that in this case. And here we've got our our weight. So we've got 190 pounds for the pilot. And then the leftover weight is actually spread out evenly between the front row and the back row and the baggage so then we can say uh, confirm and go fly now now here it's going to say your uh, fuel passenger and payload management so it's going to take some time for the fuel the fueling to be complete cargo is currently loading destination we're going to uh, click here the uh, summer side we're going to CYSU and after playing with this on a regular basis you start to pick up your uh, some of your airport codes it automatically sets uh, Greater Moncton Air International as the alternate airport. When it comes to you flying, if there's a bad weather in Moncton, you can still fly in. But if the AI is flying a flight, they might uh, they they might say they they might show up to Summerside, see that you know it's bad weather, and then they'll end up in Moncton. Well, you have to watch out for that because then you got to take them from Moncton 
and bring them back to the summer side when the weather is better. You gotta still bring in that uh, cargo or passengers, depending on what the job is. So we got that selected. Then we're gonna select the crew and company employees. We don't have to choose anyone because I'm gonna be the only one on the plane and I'm already the pilot. Now it's uh, flying your simulator, so go to the tracking page. So we they don't uh, support any add-on that changes the time during the flight uh, tracking. Do you want uh, this warning to appear again next time you start it? No. Oh. I pretty much know that. Now this is your, your tracking area. Right now, we're like, we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, like we're, we're here. But it's because it hasn't picked up from the simulator that I'm at my location. So now what I gotta do is, in the simulator, I now gotta set up my flight. I'm gonna put the uh, Carinado. Carinado CT-182T Skyline. I can choose my liveries as usual. Uh, weight and balance. Don't have to touch that. I There might still be the bug in there that, uh, that will keep it uh, like this. But uh, that's supposed to be fixed uh, at any point. So we'll see what happens here. Call sign. Okay. Now we're at CYYG. And we're flying to uh, CY, uh, CYSU, Somerset. We're going to go VFR, live weather, live traffic reset, everything's on. And let's go fly. So as that as that's loading up, we'll bring back flight. And as you can see, we're no longer there. We're now up here where we're supposed to be. And what I now have to do is I have crash detection not active. I have to activate that before we can uh, we can take off. So now what I'm doing is I'm going into options, then into assistance. I'm actually going to put the crash detection back on. Enable that. Apply and save. Then we resume. And then here you can see that that's now back that's in the green. So we're actually now good to start tracking. Click on tracking. And then now throughout your flight, you'll actually be able to have this window open. You'll be able to see where you are in your flight. And then at the end, once you've, uh, once you put the parking brake on, then, uh, it'll uh, stop counting the time and you'll be able to log in your flight from there well that's it for this video if you liked it make sure you smash that like button if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button that way you'll know when the next video comes out or when i go into a live stream and if you want to join a community of uh, sim pilots make sure to uh, join our discord We've got community events going on every Friday night and uh, once a month we'll have a Saturday afternoon flight and that's a way of uh, getting to know other sim pilots, sharing our passion of flying and um, just having fun. So uh, check that out. The uh, link, the invite link is in the description below. And again, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in our next video.